Last video we made this hair using the hair system I mentioned in this previous video. I put the link of both of these videos on the top right corner if you want to check it out. In this one we're going to make the beard using the same system. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and download it for free on my Gumroad. Again for people who don't know, I also made another version where you can access to all of the hair settings in the modifier properties. Link to all of it in the description. Let's go. Select the mesh. Shift A and in the curve, click on empty hair. Hold Ctrl Tab and go to sculpt mode. Now we can create the beard using the hair tools on the left. Before moving forward, go to render properties and make sure curves is on a strip with two additional subdivision. Pick up the add tool, go to curve shape and change the length to whatever height you want. I put the count on two and I start putting the hair strands all around the face. I want to make the beard fuller with more hair. To do that, we can use density brush to determine the amount of hair in this area. First, go to curve shape and enable all three interpolate options so it follows the existing hair shape and length. I press star and drag to the left just a bit. Then put more hair in the chin area because I want the bottom a bit longer than the sides. Without switching the density brush, I fix the hairline in this area. The sides are still too long, so I pick up grow and shrink brush in the active tool settings, I make sure it's on subtract. Then I start shortening the hair on the sides. I keep the string at a low number, so we can shorten the hair slowly. Now it's time to groom it. I pick up the comb brush, increase the size of the brush. I use projected, so it grooms the hair based on the size of the brush. I start grooming the hair to the bottom, from the outside of the hair area, so we have more control. Then drag the bottom to the inside. I go to the bottom angle. While the mass is on the center of the hair strands, I drag out the hair just a bit, so it looks more puffed up. I do the same thing to the chin, from the side view. Then I fix the direction of the beard. The direction is not the same for everyone. Some have pretty straight and uniform beard, but some others have messy beard that goes all over the place, so groom it based on your reference. There's another tool we can use, and that's pinch tool. Using this one, we can pinch some of the hair strands in the center to give it a more random look. I want to make the beard a bit messy, so I use this one all over the beard. Don't forget to use it on the bottom as well. Now if you followed my last video and already added the hair system, skip this part. But if you haven't, first go to file, append and double click on the blend file I included in my gum root. Go to node tree folder, in there you find a node named main hair. Double click on it to import. Select the beard, go to modify properties, click on this icon and choose main hair. Bring your mouse in the bottom corner and drag out a new window. Then click on this icon and put it on geometry nodes. Now we got the geometry node system ready on the beard. First I increase the hair amount. Then in the bottom right we got clumping. I decrease the max a bit so the tips gets closer together. On the right side we got this box which is noise. This one is for intensity of the noise so I increase it just a bit. In the right side we got roughness. I also increase the intensity here as as well. Roughness acts like noise, but it only applies the effect to the half of the hair so we get more random freeziness. On the left, we got curl. Mess around with the curl shape and the scale number to see what looks better in your case. I ended up increasing the scale to get more curl in each hair strand. Then decrease the shape to 0.05. The beard is too puffed up, so I pick up comb tool again and push it down a bit. Then work more on the overall shape of the beard. I pick up the selection tool and select the hair in the bottom of the lips, then go back to comb tool. This allows us to groom only this part of the beard without affecting the other parts. Now let's make the mustache in a new layer. Go back to the object mode, select the head, shift A and in the curve select the empty hair again. Control tab and go to scalp mode. I enabled X mirror, so it adds the hair on the other side as well. Pick up the add brush again and I start adding the hair strands on the mustache area. It is still too long, so I use grow and shrink brush to shorten the length. If you want to do that, make sure the brush is on subtract in the active tool settings like before. Then switch to comb tool again and start grooming the mustache to the direction you want. This depends on the style that you're going for. For example, you can grab the edges of the hair and drag it to the outside. We 
they still need way more hair in this area, so I pick up density brush. Again, make sure all three interpolate options are enabled in the curve shape menu. I pick up pinch tool to get the hair tips closer together. Once you are satisfied, hold Ctrl Tab and go to Object Mode. In the Modifier Properties, select our Geometry Node system again. Then in the Geometry Node section, click on this icon to duplicate it, then rename it to something like Mustache. I pick up Grow and Shrink Brush and I start making the hair longer. Make sure the direction is on Add in the Active Tool setting, so we increase the length, not decrease it. In the Geometry Node and in the Curl, I increase the Curve Count so it would have more points to curl. In the Noise section, I put 0 on the values to see what I'm working with for now, then did the exact same thing for the roughness. Now we get a better idea of the direction of the mustache. We need few hair strands in the center, so I pick up Density Brush and add some hair one by one. I didn't like this style so much, so I picked up comb brush and dragged the edges down. Now that I groomed it, I go ahead and increase the intensity of the roughness a bit. I still think it needs to be fuller, so I find the hair amount in the left and increase the amount for more hair. I go back to object mode and select the beard again, went to sculpt mode and picked up comb brush and start adding some irregularities and wavy effect to the hair to make it look more messy. Also picked up pinch tool and pinch random areas in the middle. Make sure to use a small brush cause we just want a small portion of the hair to pinch. We still have a lot of empty areas so I pick up density brush and I start adding some hair in those areas. It's not the same for everyone. Some people have really thick and full beards and some don't. So do it based on your character. Now let's do something that brings up the realism even more. I'm talking about a second layer for the beard. In the object mode select the beard, shift D to duplicate and escape to place it back. Click on this icon to duplicate the geometry nodes then name it something else now we got two similar beards so i select the new one plus the mustache and hit itself then i press shift edge so i can only see this tree then while the beard is selected go to geometry nodes and find delete hair as it says it deletes the amount of hair you want i want to remove most of the beard i push it to like 0.9 now this is how much it left us. I add some clumping to the tips as well as the root and in the curl section I increase the curl shape and scale just a bit. Then increase the roughness as well. Basically we want it more messy than the actual beard. So maybe add some more noise. Now press alt edge to bring back our main beard. Now we can see the second layer in action but it is still not as visible as I want. So let's select the second layer and increase the noise so it sticks out of the beard even more. Just mess around with the different settings until it looks realistic to you. Now let's go back to the object mode and do the exact same thing with the mustache. Select the mustache, shift D to duplicate and escape to place it back. Again click on this icon to duplicate the geometry nodes and name it to something else. Delete the hair roughly as the same amount as the last one. Mess around with the clumping again. I select the hair and the new hair. Press shift edge to see it better. Then change the curl shape and the scale amount. Also did the same thing for the roughness. Then I alt edge to unhide everything. Pick up comb brush and push the hair out of the main mustache just a bit to make it more exposed. Mess around with the settings more if you think it needs more work, but I'm gonna call it done. For the material, I fully explained it in the last video. It's literally the same as that one. If you made that material, just apply it to the beard. But if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna explain it here as well. Selecting the hair from the material settings, give it a new material. The color doesn't matter for now. Just assign the material to all the hair parts.
In the shading, shift A and add a mix color, which was called mix RGB in old Blender versions, then connect it to the base color. Shift A again and add curves info. If you're using an older Blender version, it's called hair info. Now we have few options. If you connect the intercept to the factor and change the colors, you get a gradient on the hair from color A to color B. Now you can shift A and add a color ramp. Drop it in between and control the gradient using these handles, but I don't want to use it in this case. Instead, I'm going to connect the random to the factor. Now what it does is to spray the A and B colors throughout the hair randomly. It's really good for Eevee when you want to add a fake contrast between the hair strands. Just use a brighter color for A or B and a darker color for the other one. Now I want to make him older by adding white hair. So change the color to a bright color. Now by moving these handles we can determine how much white or gray color we want on the hair. Just mess around with the colors until it looks right. And this is the final results. I hope you find the video helpful. If you did, like and sub would be fantastic. Also check out my Gumroad and Patreon page for 3D objects and real-time videos. I'll see you on the next one. Peace!